Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and you'll see more great videos like this. Today we are doing a bed. Um, this was a quest from Misty Phantom. Um, so without further ado, let's crack on. So first of all, we're just going to bring in a cube and just resize it. Oh, I've got to change units to centimeters. Um, let's get our tools. There we go. Right. So height is 47. The width is 141. And the length is 196. So that's the base of our bed. Um, this type of bed we're going to have sliding openers, something like that. So we're going to go over and do a couple of loop cuts here and then scale them out on the Y. Okay, and then we're just going to select these two. don't know why. I'm going to select these two here and extrude them on the Z. And we're just going to extrude that one a little bit further, like so. So that's like the base. Um, what we'll do is we'll just put the cutouts. So we're just going to reset the scale on that. Just go back into there, select that one and that one. Hit I to insert and then these two faces we're just going to bridge them so it goes right the way through so you could chuck all your clothes all crap in there um, but we'll sort that out in a minute and now we've got to create the mattress so let's create another cube um, let's just bring it on over um, one nine six. Um, that was, was it one four one, and then the height was well, whatever height we want it to be. So let's just move that, make it a little bit smaller. We need to make sure it fits on the bed. Let's just make the height a bit smaller. There we go. And again, we've got to reset scales. Um, and now we're going to go in a bevel. And then just put in about five, six segments. That looks good. And then apply. And then we're going to just raise that up a little bit. And there's our mattress done. Let's do a smooth shade. Now, just gonna save. I'm uh, just gonna call it double bed. Yeah, double bed. How original. <laughs> um. Right now, what we got to do is the duvet. So let's create a, a plane. Let's just reset the zeros, um, move it up, and then just make it a little bit smaller, like that much smaller. Maybe make it a little bit wider. Um, and now we got to subdivide. Subdivide, say 40. Okay. And now we've got to add a cloth. We just say it's cotton. We need to 
quality for and then self collision okay and then we need to make this into the collision and then if we hit play and then find a keyframe that looks okay so say something like that that looks there we go that looks kind of better or not there we go now we've got to bake apply the cloth and now hopefully we can just move that up and down so that's cool we need to now apply solidify just to make the material a little bit thicker that looks a tickety boo so we could um, do a subdivision just to give it a little bit of a nice little roundedness now what we're going to do here is just select this top edge and then we're going to extrude it up because we want this top part folded over okay so then we just um, extrude a smidge and then we need to select these inner faces and don't worry if you select the wrong one you just got to select it again like that and then we just select each and every one we could use the circle tool just hit C but you have to make sure the um, the selection tool is small enough because if you go over the lines well we all know what happens when you go over the lines especially coloring <laughs> um, okay and now we need to extrude these so it looks like it's folded over um, and then just W smooth we can just move it down a smidge now for the pillows so we shift A for a cube um, scale on the Z Oh, let's just do some link cuts. So say 30 along there. Control R, 30. And then maybe just one along. Oh. And then maybe just one. Oh, come on. And then maybe just one along the edge there. Right, what we need to do now is to make it into a cloth okay and we need to self collision field weights gravity zero okay and then we need to do shift a force field and force we just move that over there 
Okay, and then in the force field, we need to set the strength to 175. Let's just press play on that. There we go. And then when you've got a nice cushion looking shape, we can delete that. Look at that, that's looking pretty sweet, although it looks a little bit too big for the um, bed. Um, but what we need to do is apply. So now we can move this around and we can just set that back to zero. Um, let's just scale this down. It needs to just go over here on my bed. Boom, biddy, boom, boom. Let's just bring this over and scale that down again. Scale that across. Right now, what I think we also need to do is we're just going into edit mode, select vertices. We're going to use the circle just to select a few in the center here. And then we're going to go on proportional editing. Um, we want to just resize that, the tool down, and then just pull it down slightly, just so it looks like it's been used. You know, an older cushion and that. Let's just do a few more smaller. And then again, just push it down in the center there. And then that's that done. We can subdivide and then W smooth to give it a little bit of a better look. And then we can shift D on the X for two cushions. But let's just rotate this one on the Z by 180 so it looks a little bit different and there you go there is your oh we just need to put in a couple of um cubes let's just narrow that down so we're just going to make the slidey doors oh. just chuck that in there oh where did that go let's just bring this out bring it up and there's one shift D on the Y and then just bring it forward a little bit let's just narrow those down narrow that one down Okay, and then shift D on the X, take them over to the other side. And then you can just keep all your clothes in there. Let's make that a little bit bigger. And then we have it just add a floor, scale that up, maybe you can have a um, shift A, another plane, um, rotate on the X90, just bring that up, so it's, use it as a wall, scale that out, up and move it up. Let's 
Let's move the floor up. And there we go. We can add a add a little bit of colour in there. We can make the duvet whatever colour you want. Nice pink. Maybe the bed is going to be a nice <laughs> yellow. The duvet, uh, the mattress is going to be blue. <laughs> the walls are going to be magnolia. Everyone has magnolia. And the floor is going to be green. <laughs> and there we have our nice little double bed. Let's just change that to cycles. Let's switch everything off. And then we have it. Then we have our nice little bed. That's how to make a basic standard bed. So I hope you enjoyed that video, everyone. Um, thanks for sticking about. Don't forget, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you've got any requests, drop them below. And yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Ta-da for now.